How's it going everyone? Today we got a story time of a bunch of skibbity toilet syndrome kids. Kids who have caught the skibbity toilet virus. A bunch of them formed together and almost burned down their entire neighborhood over uh, skibbity toilet. Yeah, um, pretty crazy today. Uh, I I've also lost faith in humanity. So leave a like on the video right now to claim your free nothing. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and like stories. With that being said, let's just jump right into it. Anyways, so we're gonna call the subscriber who submitted this story, Liam. So this all happened over fall break. So anyways, Liam and his friends always like playing in this big group of woods. So there's a big foresty kind of woods type area that's in the town. It's like, it's been a place that they've been playing for the longest time. They used to go there when they were young as four, and they'd go there and have like fake lightsaber battles with the sticks have adventures, I don't know, it was really cool. So they're all kind of growing up, and at this point, Liam is around eight. Most of his friends are from seven to eight to nine. So anyways, some of them, a handful, roughly half in fact, got infested with the skivvy toilet virus. This is when a kid, or anyone really, but most likely kids, sit there and watch skivvy toilet for 25 hours every single day. Yes, you heard me right. They found a way to stuff an extra hour into the day just to watch more Skibbity Toilet. These kids actually do exist. So anyways, this year, or I should say this break, they basically broke up into two teams. So they were going into like, they've always like having like battles or whatever in the woods. And this time they broke up very, very much along the lines of team like Skibbity Toilet, which means they just love it so much. They've all contracted the Skibbity Toilet virus that they're willing to form an entire team around it. And then the other one was just like team blue. Like they really weren't around it. They honestly were team anti skibbity toilet because they just thought it was so annoying or whatever. Because I feel like with eight year olds nowadays, you're either so in love with it or you absolutely hate it. Like I feel like there's almost no in between. I don't totally get it, but also I'm not eight anymore. So yeah. Anyways though, so sure enough, they were kind of planning to have a battle between each other. They'd had battles before, but let me just say, as you can probably tell by the intro slash title of this video, that, well, uh, this battle is going to get a little bit too extreme, and they're almost going to risk burning down the entire town because of it. Yes, they're going to risk burning down the entire town over a skivvy toilet. It actually gets to that point, which is pretty crazy. Uh, real quick... Anyone who's a channel member and watching this video, I want you to comment down below and just kind of like spam a few of the emojis. Just so you guys know, if you see a join button next to the subscribe, you can also become a channel member and have access to channel member only emojis and flex them in the comment section. Anyways though, let's go into the first battle. The first battle was not the dangerous one and not the scary one. So the first battle, as I said, was not the one that almost destroyed the whole neighborhood. But it was a precursor, and it does show that the team Skibbity Toilet was going to go way too far. So anyways, they all had these foam lightsabers. So they're little lightsabers from Star Wars, but they were made completely out of foam. So if you hit someone with a, with a foam lightsaber, it would like bend over, it would bend in half, it wouldn't hurt at all. So their first battle was going to be these foam lightsabers, and they were going into the woods. So Team Blue was walking in. They all have their foam lightsabers, and then in the distance, they seem Team Skibbity Toilet, which is the other half of the kids. And they were their battle chant, bro. Their battle chant was the Skibbity Toilet song. So you, you hear in the distance, and you can barely see them through the woods, and you hear in the distance, and all of Team Blue is like, oh, God, not that song again. So they're all marching in, screaming that. And there was something wrong with their lightsabers. So this was the first sign that this team, the Team Skibby Toilet, was about to go way too far. This was the very beginning signs. So their lightsabers were not that floppy. And remember, these were foam lightsabers. These kind of bend it over. It was almost like you were waving around something floppy, man. Like, guys, don't go there in the comment section, please. Anyways, though, so either way, they march in a battle. Team Blue go, goes in, the subscriber is like, charge! So all of Team Blue rushes in, Team Skibby Toilet rushes against them, and they start swinging their lightsabers against each other. 
And almost right away, Team Blue realizes something is wrong. They might contact with Team Skippy Toilet's lightsabers. And, like, the Team Skippy Toilet's lightsabers are, like, hard as a rock. And they basically just, like, cut through the lightsabers. So they're immediately losing the battle. And that's when one of the Team Skibby Toilet members hits one of the Team Blue members with a lightsaber, and it really hurts. So anyways, one of the Team Blue members are like, wait, 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 wait. Something's wrong with these lightsabers. They're like, cease fire, cease fire. So they call a cease fire. They look around, and one of the Team Blue members takes one of the Skibby Toilet members' lightsabers, looks at it, and so the lightsaber is almost like, you know those kind of like pool noodles? Yeah, these film lightsabers were basically recolored uh, like pool noodles. So they look in the pool no noodle and there's a metal rod in the noodle section. The reason why these weren't floppy was because there was a metal rod put in them, which one is a massive like cheating advantage because if you're having a lightsaber fight and you're fighting someone, someone has a floppy stick, someone has a hard as a rock stick, bro, you're gonna win. Second of all, if you hit someone in the head or something with a metal rod, even if it has like a pool noodle around it, that's still dangerous. Super quick, if you're listening on YouTube or Spotify and you go into the description of the video, or if you're on YouTube and you look at the pinned comment, the second link that says, click this link to learn how to grow on YouTube. If you guys are kind of coming to the age where you're trying to make some money, YouTube's a pretty good place to make some money. So I put together all the knowledge I've learned over the years of how to grow a channel and monetize it correctly. And if you're interested in that, click that link. Anyways, though, back to the story. So yeah, immediately Team Blue is like, whoa, 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 whoa. They start calling foul. And Team Skibby Toilet is like, it's not our fault that you guys came into battle unprepared. Like, you know what? We're going to have another battle tomorrow, and you guys better be ready for whatever we throw at you. So Team Blue is like, okay, well, then what's the battle? And Team Skibby Toilet looks at them and says, you guys will see. So, okay. Things are getting kind of intense. And Team Skibby Toilet also says, the battle can happen at any time. Like, hold the fort. Like, it's your job to hold the forest. We can strike at any time, day or night. So basically, one of the teams would hold down the forest in a sense, like it would be their home base. And the other team would like sneak in and try and take it over. Today, Team Skibby Toilet had the forest. And the next day, it's the other way around. So anyways, Team Skibby Toilet took the metal rods out of the pipes and they had another kind of like floppy lightsaber fight, whatever. But there was something plaguing the fight that just felt wrong. Like something, like it was just like Team Skippy Toilet was definitely going to be doing, I don't know, they just were not going to be playing fair and that was almost a fact. However, Team Blue played it smart. Team Blue had a mole on Team Skippy Toilet. So anyways, that night, both Team Blue and Team Skippy Toilet had their own like little meetings or whatever to plan for the next day. So during the meetings, Team Blue kind of brought up, first of all, they're like, hey, like, first of all, the Team Skibby Toilet is like, they're not playing fair. They came here with metal rods. Like that could have hurt some of us. They were obviously cheating here. And even when like uh, we won, like they kind of like, it was an unofficial win, but they definitely won. Cause I think the kids were too busy watching Skibby Toilet to train with like the floppy lightsabers. It's like, they obviously won when they weren't cheating, but they came in prepared to like go too far. And they also said, hey, like, I'm a little worried. Like, they said anything's on the table for tomorrow. Like, what do you think that'll mean? So that's when the subscriber says, like, I didn't want to announce this to any of you guys earlier, just in case, like, you know, I needed to do my own digging. So the subscriber, like, did his own research, quote, unquote. I don't necessarily know what that means. But the subscriber said that he did his own research to see if there's any moles in the team. And he kind of made the, he deduced that there wasn't. So he said... <laughs> Okay, like I, I was hiding this from you guys because I wanted to do my own research and see if any of you guys were potentially spies or double agents. But we have a double agent on Team Skibbity Toilet. He will be giving us information about what their secret weapon will be or what their plan will be for tomorrow so we can prepare in the morning. Unless they attack in the morning, then we're, get, we're gonna know either way ahead of time. So anyways, they're all waiting. And later that night, the, like the, the mole comes back and he meets with a subscriber. And the everyone else went home, so it's only the subscribers hearing this. They're going to meet tomorrow early in the morning, like 8 a.m. They're all going to get up. They're all going to go to a certain location. But the subscriber looks at the mole and says, okay, what did you hear? And the mole gives them a, like this very terrified look. So basically, the mole says they're going to do a fire attack. 
And the subscriber was like, okay, bro, like, what do you mean by they're going to do a fire attack? And he said, they didn't really go into a ton of detail, but apparently, like, they got a hold of, like, a bunch. Everyone went home and was, like, instructed. And, like, I don't know how I wasn't instructed. Maybe they have suspicions about me about or something. But everyone was instructed to go home and grab a lighter and, like, find a lighter from their parents and then come here tomorrow. I don't know exactly what the plan is going to be, but, like, you guys got to be prepared for this to go crazy. So at this point, the subscriber's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're bringing fire into this? Like, okay, man, like, pause. Like, this might actually be going too far. And the mole's like, dude, I don't know. Like, just prepare for anything. So anyways, the subscriber goes to bed, and he just, like, can't fall asleep because he's thinking, are they going to come in with, like, matches? Are they going to come in? Like, what are they going to come in and do? So anyways, the next day comes around. It's 8 a.m. They all meet at the spot. The subscriber's a couple minutes late because he, like, slept through his alarm and very quickly ran out, and everyone's like, dude, like, where are you at? Like, well, you said meet at 8 a.m., and you're not here. Like, what's going on? He's like, boys, we got bad news. The mole informed us that uh, they're going to use fire. And everyone looks at him and is like, fire? Real quick, if you made it this far into the video, comment fire down below. That'll be the secret word of the day. I'm going to try and heart as many comments as I can. I'm tapping away, trying to give some hearts. If you want the best chance of getting a heart on YouTube, Comment fire three times in three separate comments. Higher chance I'll see it. Also, because I get so many comments, thank you guys. I can't reply to all of them. But if you want a guaranteed reply, all you got to do is leave your comment as a super thanks. So there's a little heart icon with a dollar sign. All you got to do is tap that and then make a custom comment. I check that every single night before I go to bed and I respond to every single comment like that. So that is a guaranteed way to make sure that you get a reply and a heart. And finally, I want to let you guys know that I am on Cameo. It is the first, it is one of the links in the description and the first link on the pin comment on YouTube. So it's in the description for YouTube or Spotify. If you want me to say anything you want within reason, obviously, Cameo is the place to do that. It's my official account. I'll get notified and I'll get it done within a day. So I don't know if you got, if you want me to say something, that's a place for it to be. Anyways, let's get to the fire attack because this is about to get absolutely crazy. So anyways, they're waiting there all day. They're just kind of sitting, waiting, and they feel like they're just waiting for, for like the attack to happen. So it's, they're guarding the forest at like one, they're guarding the forest at two. They also all have Nerf guns. They thought, okay, the best thing we can do is probably bring like ranged weapon attacks. So they all have Nerf guns. I used to love Nerf guns as a kid. Super fun. Honestly, like I've joked around with my college buddies, like, we should have a massive, like, Nerf gun battle. And, like, they might have been joking, but, bro, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Anyways, though, so they're kind of walking around, patrolling the perimeter with their Nerf guns, waiting for signs of anything. So every, like, 30 minutes, they kind of, like, check in or whatever. Or one of the, like, the, one of the patrolling guards will come back and kind of, like, collect all the information. And no one saw anything. There was a few scares, like a few times they saw movement and it was like a bird or a squirrel or just some like random dad walking his dog. But Team Skippy Toilet was nowhere to be seen. So at this point, they were getting antsy because like they knew that a crazy attack was coming. They didn't exactly know what they meant by fire attack, which by the way, don't play with fire, boys. If you have to take one thing away from this video, do not play with fire. <laughs> Anyways, so they're kind of antsy. They're kind of nervous. Because this is going to be a big deal when it drops. So they're all anxiously waiting around. And that's when it's getting late. Night's coming soon. And so they're kind of like looking at each other like, do we just go back? Is this too late? And that's when they hear it. They hear in the very faint in the distance. They hear like the almost like very far away chanting. So it's not like it's being whispered. It's being shouted, bro. But it's almost it's so far away that it's very faint. But they hear... Whoa, it's gonna be pop, 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 yes, yes. But they hear it in kind of like a slowed version. Like, I, like it's, it's almost like, whoa, it's gonna be pop, 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 yes. I, I mean, you can't really take it that seriously because it is the Skippy Toilet soundtrack at the end of the day. However, I will say that it was always oh, very ominous because it was getting dark out. They were on edge waiting for the team Skippy Toilet to attack with an unknown fire attack. So they were already kind of tweaking out a little bit. And then you hear in the dark, this very slow version of their battle cry. 
yeah, bro, I don't know. If I was an eight-year-old, I would be tweaking a little bit myself. So first, they heard the battle cry. And second, they saw the flames. So yeah, Team Skibbity Toilet was coming in. Everyone held like a stick with fire at the end of it. Yeah, I'm not even kidding you guys. These, they came in with like torches, bro. They're literally coming in with torches. Like, yeah, it's actually getting that serious. So at that point, the subscriber's like, okay, team, they're right there, ready, aim, fire. So everyone has their Nerf guns and are kind of shooting their Nerf bullets, right? And Team Skibby Toilet is not even dodging the Nerf bullets. They're ominously chanting, walking towards them with like the big flames or whatever. And they're walking towards them. And the Nerf bullets are just like bouncing off of them, whatever. It's doing basically nothing. So one of the other Team Blue members turns to the subscriber. The subscriber's low-key the captain in the situation. I've kind of alluded to that, and it's not explicitly said, but it definitely feels like that. He's basically like, Captain, he's like, uh, bro, like, what do we do here? He's like, hold the line, hold the line. So they keep shooting their Nerf bullets, and the Team Skibby Toilet is just getting closer and closer. But this is where Blank hits the fan. One of the Skibby Toilet like members gets one of the Nerf bullets, hits him in the face, hits him in the eye, he's like, ow, drops his thing, drops his like flame stick. And his flame stick hits the ground and it's like a brush. So it's like a bunch of really dry, dead grass. Cause it's fall, so it's like the grass is dying out, it's getting really cold, which also means the grass is really dry and flammable. Almost immediately as it hits the ground, Boof, like a big thing of flames, as if it hit like a gallon of kerosene or something. Like, it's bad. So at this point, everyone's like, stop, 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 and like the whole whatever is done. And Team Blue, like one of the people are like, we gotta call someone, we gotta call someone, it's like an actual fire. And Team Skibby Toilet's like, so do you guys like give up? One of the members is like, oh, so do you guys like give up the forest? And that's when the subscriber's like, Bro, like, this is beyond our games right now. This forest could go up in flames. Yeah, so at this point, some of the people are, like, running back, trying to, like, get help or something. The Skibby Toilet members are complaining because they said, oh, you guys are, like, ducking out. As the fire is growing, by the way, so the fire is starting to spread. In this town, it's a very old town, so, like, a lot of the houses don't have perfect, like, a lot of them are made like from old wooden structures. A lot of them are like surrounded by the woods. And you know, a forest fire, that thing's actually deadly and it spreads super fast. And especially these houses are, would go down in seconds, bro. Like they'd be out for the count. So anyways, uh, the subscriber and one of his other Team Blue members runs back home and says, we got to call the fire department. So the mom immediately does and says, what's going on? And he's like, ah, oh, like, the, we're, we're playing. And some of the, uh, the other opposing team, they brought fire. And the mom's like, you guys were playing with fire. And the, the subscriber's like, I wasn't, I wasn't. My team wasn't. They brought fire as bad. And she's like, okay, whatever. Where is the fire? So anyways, fire department's called. A fire truck goes over to the scene. The Skippy Toilet members were still complaining with, like, the Team Blue members. So at this point, parents are getting called. Everyone's rushing to the scene. <laughs> And, like, at this point, like, parents are walking in, the subscriber comes over, and, like, still some of the kids are holding fire sticks. So at this point, the parents are like, put that down, put that down. And obviously, putting that down is a bad idea. So anyways, the firemen come over, and they're just like, boys, you shouldn't be playing with fire. And they have, like, the big hose. They're spraying it down. They're collecting, like, the fire sticks and extinguishing them. And uh, let's just say that the last couple days of break... They were all grounded. Unfortunately, the subscriber in Team Blue, they tried to explain to their parents that they were not doing that. They brought Nerf guns. And if you want to prove, you could look at, you know, who was holding the fire sticks, the total number of fire sticks, which was the same number of Team Skibbity Toilet members or whatever, and that they brought their Nerf guns. But none of the parents wanted to hear it because at the end of the day, they were all playing with fire and nearly burned down the entire neighborhood. 